What's up everybody, Jason Cole here with RCGroups.com and I've got a 3D printer. That's right, Gearbest was kind enough to send me my first 3D printer, the Anycubic i3 Mega. I always wanted to get a 3D printer but I thought it was either too expensive or I had to learn some really advanced CAD programs to be able to use it and I did not know how easy and simple it could be until I got the i3 Mega. Alright, so let's talk about what you get in the box. It's going to come with the printer itself, which is mostly assembled. There's not a lot to do with this thing. You're going to get the power cable, a USB cable. You're going to get the hardware you need to put it together, an SD card, and a couple of readers. You get a spare hot end and a switch. You get the filament spool holder. You get a nice selection of tools, including a scraper, a pair of tweezers, a nice pair of side cutters, Allen wrenches, wrenches, even a pair of gloves. It's pretty cool. You're going to get the manual, and you even get a full kilogram of random color filament, and I happen to get black on this one. So you get a lot of great accessories with this kit, and to put it together, it is really simple. All you do is lift the base up over the bottom of the frame, slide it into position, and it's just eight screws uh, to secure the frame to the base. There is really nothing to it. After that, all you do is plug in the three cables. Uh, they're color-coded and they're all different sizes, so you really can't get this wrong. They just plug right in and just make sure they're in and secure and you're good to go there. Um, the spool holder, you can just take the backing off the acrylic panels and then there's uh, just like four screws and nuts to, to put that thing together. And all you got to do after that is insert your filament, heat up the nozzle, make sure it's extruding properly, uh, and then you got to level your bed. So that's probably the most important thing uh, that I've learned doing all my research and playing with this. So you got to really uh, level that bed. It's not like level to the earth, like you're going to use a bubble level. Uh, you're going to level it to the nozzle. So the manual does a really good job of explaining this. You're basically going to zero and or home the printer axis, and you're going to turn the motors off by either turning the printer off or turning them off in the software. And then you want to run the nozzle to each corner and adjust the thumb screws on the bottom of the print bed so you can just slide the piece of paper uh, underneath the nozzle with just a little bit of friction. And, you know, take your time with this. This is an extremely important step. It's really going to affect your print quality, adhesion. Uh, it's probably one of the most important things you can do to your printer is make sure your bed is properly leveled and height adjusted. Um, so once you do that, you're basically ready to print. It comes with uh, an owl pair as a test print. The G-code's already on the SD card that's included. So just pop that in, hit print on that file and it starts printing so it's really fun to watch and it does a really good job I'm really impressed with the quality of this printer you can see some of the prints here that I've done um, and one of the features that I love this thing is packed with features that you would think would come on a higher end or higher cost printer uh, this thing is only like three hundred and sixty dollars or even less with the coupon code you can find in the review um, but for that kind of money, you get some really high-end features like a filament sensor. So if uh, your filament spool runs out and it passes through that sensor, it will automatically pause the print, allow you to change the filament spool out and continue printing. It has resume from a power outage. Um, really great features like that. The heated bed, um, it's their Anycubic Ultra Base. Um, and I love this bed. I've heard horror stories about people having to use tape, hairspray, glue sticks, all this stuff to just try to get the parts to stick. And then the, after that, it's really hard to get them off after the print is done. You have to use these scraper tools, and, and it's just kind of a headache and a nightmare to deal with. But with this Ultra Base, the, uh, my prints at least have stuck really well on the settings that uh, they want you to use as default. But once the print's done, if you let the print bed cool down to ambient temperature, it's almost like the part is just sitting and resting on the bed. You can just grab it and lift it right off with no effort, no scraper tools. It is really amazing from what I understand and seeing the struggles of other printers out there. So this Ultra Base gets two thumbs up in my book. Again, I'm just a newbie, but man, this is fantastic to use. So with all that said, me coming to 3D printers as a newbie, 
having to learn the ropes, learn the software, you know, learn how to do everything. I can say that the Anycubic i3 Mega is a great first printer. It's got a uh, price range that's under $500. Uh, you know, much less under $500, which I think is right in the affordable range for somebody that's quite unsure about if they want to do this or not. Um, but it works extremely well. It was so easy to put together, so easy to use. I think anybody can do this. Um, I love it. I'm having a blast printing. I'm really addicted to this now, and I'm already looking for other printers I can buy and get, maybe even another one of these just to have more so I can print other things at the same time. Um, man, it is so much fun. You're going to love it. Uh, you can check out more information about the i3 Mega and see the full review as well as get a coupon code online at rcgroups.com and we'll have that link in the description for you. Thanks for watching guys. Enjoy and we'll catch you later.